for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with our weekly Madden market talk. So, some of you guys say this is competitive. Competitive? I'm brain dead. Some of you guys say this is repetitive. So, what doesn't make sense to me is how it's repetitive, but you guys like it. So, like, a lot of people like it because it's it's not even repetitive. You know what I'm saying? It's market talk. So, yeah, one week Vic is 340. The next week he's 320. I'm telling you he went down. But you guys are like, yeah, you told us Vic went down last week. Yeah, but he went down from 450 to 400. Now he's 340 to 320. You know what I'm saying? Like, the point of market talk is to keep everyone updated on a weekly basis. So, like, it's not this, it's not, it's a similar video every time because it is talking about the market. But it's useful because it's a day by day. It's, it's updating you guys. So, if you guys really don't want to see them anymore, just let me know. But, I mean, for the majority of the, the most part, I get very, very positive feedback. Just a few people always tell me, like, this is repetitive, the same video. But, like... I'm making it. I wouldn't be making this video exactly the same every time. It's not like it's doing. It's not doing well enough to where like, oh wow, there's a banger every time. But such so the point, guys. We mean a lot if we can keep getting this like goal up to 50 likes. We've been doing awesome with the likes lately. Make sure to comment down below and make sure to subscribe, like per usual. So let's get into this video now. Something I noticed today. It's a sad, sad, sad time in Madden. You know, to be a Madden player for multiple reasons, but something that I've come to look at on the auction this week. So, in recent weeks, right, we've seen the Ultimate Legend hit their lows, they've hit their highs, right? So, what, what is my typical tip that I always tell you guys, right? Wednesdays are the day to sell, that is when the market's usually at the highest, it's middle of the week, no content, the weekend, the weekend content's too far, the next weekend content's too far, it's in between, nothing's affecting the market, right? So, typically, Wednesdays, the highest prices will be. Wednesdays, a good baseline for what cards will be at their highest. So, what scares me is something I just saw in the auction block right now. So if you guys remember from the pop the prior weeks, when Vic was at a Wednesday, he was about 450. When Vic was on a Saturday, at his worst, I've seen him at 310, 305. So what just scared me is that it's a Wednesday, so I come in, I'm like, wow, these are these are pretty cheap, right? It's coming down. I'm like, what's Vic at? So I go down to Vic. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I see that Vic is at 333. So Vic on a Wednesday is at 3.33. Do you guys know what that means? Let's let's think here logically. So there's nothing in the game right now, truthfully, to be affecting this auction right here. So my 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 personal thing right now is do not touch Vic. Unless you just want him, you have the coins go for it. But I, I think this weekend, when those packs drop out, if they know if they drop a banger, well, the next big banger ultimate legend, like if they drop a Barry Sanders or something cool. This Vic is done, so he's going. He's going into the 200s. I will gladly pick up a Michael Vic at about 280. Come a specific Saturday. Let's 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 filter by teams. So if you look, I have it on time remaining, don't I? Okay, so if you look, he's 333. Honestly, not a bad price if you want to keep him. But he's been up there for quite a while now. I mean, people aren't school and work, so even then the market should be a little slower, anyways. And there's not the 10:30 content hasn't even dropped. It is 9:50 in the morning Eastern time. This is as dead as the market's going to get, and he's at 333. So, my personal opinion, this weekend, do not miss out on this weekend's Ultimate Legend drop. If it is going to be a banger, I hope you guys are on the market. You guys will be making tons of coins because cards are going to drop. And not just making coins, right? You could be, you could really improve your team this week for less. Like, you know, it's like, what's that What's that saying? You got you got him on a, a dime on the dollar or whatever. Like, you paid a dime for a dollar, whatever, whatever that thing is. Pretty much you're paying less than what he's worth. Which is what this weekend's looking like it's gonna be like, because these cards are going down. Tip, realistically, if they drop a banger, these cards right here, when those Ultimate Legend packs drop, these cards right here will be below one one hundred. So like, not one, but in the one hundreds. So you could probably get a Tony Gonzalez, a, a Ray Nit Nit Ray, and Night Train Lane, Walter Payton, Deacon Jones. You probably get all these cards for about one eighty, which is gonna be unreal for ninety eight overall. Which is also why I'm less excited about getting a 99 to 98 overall draft pick player that costs 500, 600k because you can clearly see that these cards define the market and pretty much if the 98 overall is going to go for 180, those draft pick players won't be going for much, much more once it comes to once the promos over. When the promos on, they'll be expensive, but afterwards, if you hold, you're screwed. So I'd wait for this Saturday. Please stay on top of the market. I, I it's crazy how much. 
how much these are probably gonna go down but that's if they drop a good one right if they drop like an ultimate legend like brian urlacher type card that has no speed i mean people might not care uh brian urlacher 99 is 260k 99 overall 260k Dan Marino, 270. This is unreal. And they think that draft player is worth 650k right now. They have that Baker Mayfield first overall pick collectible set valued at almost 650k for 99 overall. Yeah, a Kyler Murray 99 overall is really cool. But like, he won't be going for more than 650k unless he's limited time or something, which is not going to happen. Now, as far as Vic and Lawrence Taylor go, it appears like Lawrence Taylor will be at 350. So, this weekend might be the weekend where you could cop a Lawrence Taylor for maybe 280, 300 to 310, which is an awesome price for Lawrence Taylor. And then a Vic for 330. So it's really looking like the time is coming. The the, the, the market's on a, it's in a flux. Like it is, I mean, it's expected, right? Am I surprised? No. I knew it was going to happen. It's just that every year I'm usually done by this point. So I never really know exactly when it will happen, but it's happening. It, the market's the market it's it's going there now my outlook for the rest of the year right personally there's multiple ways to look at this i have trouble buying cards at this point in the year because i know that every day that goes they're gonna lose value so the, the one the one interesting piece of this year's madden is that in years like in years past let's say you typically had to sell your team a lot to keep up on the market right so like let's say you bought a mean joe green on a saturday no, let's just on a regular day, like 150k, right? Not this one, just in years past. A week later, he might only work 140, and then two weeks later, he's only worth 120, and then a week after that, like a month later, he's worth only 100. So you couldn't hold on to a team. You had to always be, if you wanted to keep, if you wanted to not lose coins, you had to always be selling your team. So for me, it was hard to enjoy the game. So like, I would buy a team and sell it, buy a team and sell it, buy a team and sell it. I'd never have a team. I'd never plan line. I was always stacking up my coins. But this year was different. This year at training, and they had team cards at training values. So the training values actually kept the market very stable this year, which is something I kind of enjoyed just because it didn't give me that anxiety of like, oh my God, if I don't play, if I, if I, if I keep my team for too long, I'm mad. And like this year, I was able to build a chemistry with my team, like know my players, know my team. I was actually able to build a team like this and then add on to it slowly. You know what I'm saying? And I said, and I power them up. I said years past where it was like, build a team here, sell the whole thing. Build it here, sell the whole thing. So I'm, I have a different quarterback, different running back, different team every time. So it's kind of cool to have some consistency this year. But at the time we're at in this year, the training value is barely holding players up anymore. As you can see, 99s are falling down. People don't really care about training anymore. So it's making training values less less relevant. Like as you can see, like a Larry Allen goes up here for like 300K, but he's a 98 overall. So typically 98 overalls are down here, right? But not anymore because people don't really give a crap about training. So my personal opinion, this is when the mar the market starts to become more like older Maddens now. So if you play older Maddens in their market, you kind of know how to run this at this point. Cards are going to be fluctuating by the day, by the promo, by the program, by the set. So this is kind of the point in the year where it's hard to buy a team now. Now it's like every day you're losing value on your teams. It's not like it was in the earlier in the year where you can go a whole month with the same team and you could lose a max 50k on the all every player. Maybe even gain coins because of how training went up. So in my opinion... I wouldn't buy a card right now. I'd wait. Now this weekend, if you get the deal that I'm talking about, go for it because you can always flip that later on in the week. But it just doesn't seem like the time to start building right now. I'd wait for a better promo. Maybe maybe, maybe things get better. I, I don't know what other promos we're really getting that are going to be like more fun and more useful. That really like rejuvenates the block and the, and the, and the fun and the competitiveness. So in, in my opinion... This is the point of the year where you either you, you cut your losses, you buy a team, you're done, you just start having fun with it, you play, you play, you just enjoy. But at this point of the year, I don't see the point of just building up coins either. Like, I don't, like, what are you building up coins for? It's almost the end of, like, it's pretty, we're pretty much at the end of the Madden journey. Now it's like the, the, the people who really love Madden just keep playing because they like football. But I mean, we're at the end of this journey. So, like, I don't really know, like, what the point of, you know, still flipping and selling, flipping and selling. So, my, my best advice would be if you want to keep playing this game, you want to have a really good team and just have fun. Take advantage of this Saturday. If you're just looking to build coins, I mean, maybe start selling them to coin sponsors or something because I don't know what the point of building coins up at this point is. Unless you're saving up for like the golden ticket promo and you're going to have this insane team and rock the whole summer with it, which is kind of a cool idea too, honestly. Wish I kind of saved coins or something like that, but pretty much it, boys, for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little advice and just, it's like a, it's like a fun, it's like, it's like a podcast, right? It's a little fun commentary I like to do with the market talk. It's not so much like, oh, do this now. It's just like a commentary. Give you guys something to listen to, something in the background. If you guys listen to it on the side while doing other things that's cool and that's about it 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the content. Hope you guys have been. If you haven't watched Wheel of Pup yet, go check it out. My last video that I just posted of it was really fun to edit. It took me a while, but it was really fun. It was a really good time. So hope you guys enjoy it. Go check it out. Go like it. And if you like this video, obviously 50 likes. Hopefully we can get to that again. And that is about it. We actually have the Wheel of Pup lineup in right now. I just saw 80 overall. But boys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying. And as always, I hope things are going well. We can keep this momentum going and that into the summer, I can keep working on my editing, working on my content creating, working on the lighting, working on a bunch of quality things. So that come Madden 20, I hope that that could be our year. We can have a really good Madden 20. Hope I'm so excited for Madden 20. You guys have no idea from a content creator standpoint. Just working on a few kinks and hopefully I can get into Madden 20, you know, full steam ahead. Or I hope I said that right, but that's it guys. Thank you. See you guys in the next video. I'm out.